This is Pablo, uh, English boy dog. Uh, he's my dog. I had him for about a year and a half now. Uh, he was born in November 2016. I picked him up uh, around Christmas. I looked around, called a couple people. I knew a couple people in Muncie, so then they put me uh, with an owner down in uh, South Carolina. Um, I got her contact information. I called her, and she said that she had two boys, and uh, she showed me pictures. Then once I saw the white one, I instantly fell in love. Like, that's the one I want. I was watching like a series of Narcos and I kept like Pablo Escobar, Pablo Escobar. I was like, why not name him Pablo? And then everybody fell in love with it, so we just call him Pablo the English Bulldog. Basically, like when I get done with school and football, I just come home, play with the dog. Uh, it's just me and him, so he always keeps me company when I'm bored or anything like that. So he's like a best friend that I always wanted. So yeah, me and him get along real fine. Last right, so weekend was pretty cool as far as uh, seeing where we were at as a team. Um, Bad thing, we didn't get the uh, the result that we wanted, but I feel like if we maintain that energy and that enthusiasm, I think we should be good going into Indiana. This would be the first team that we played as a four down front. The most, the first two teams have been like a three down, so it's been kind of confusing, like knowing what we're going to do offensive-wise. So uh, basically, we're going to open up our playbook, do what we do, and play our game. Moments away from kickoff, Ball State versus Notre Dame, David versus Goliath. Ball State enters as David. They did it once before, but on the basketball court. Ball State can win it with one shot. Taylor Persons the basketball, backs down the rest of the defense. Persons, double team, Persons drives, he shoots, red wing three-pointer and buries it home. Taylor Persons gives Ball State a three-point lead with one second left. You make sure they know we're here to compete for four quarters. You just never know. You tell me what you want this sentence to read. Do you remember on September 8, 2018, when Ball State played Notre Dame? And we get to finish the rest of it. We get to finish the rest of it. And handoff goes to Armstrong and he gets in, walks into the end zone, Notre Dame makes quick work of the Cardinal defense and gets into the end zone for six. Neal takes a snap, handoff goes to Huntley. He has a little bit of space on the left tackle, gets dragged up and caught. Snyder receives the snap, kick is up, and it is good. Wimbush takes the snap, hands off to Armstrong. He's got a hole up the middle, breaks a tackle, bounces out to the left at the 10 yard line, going toward the goal line, and he's in for the score. Tony Jones Jr. rather with a quick score, 31-yard run. Handoff goes to Dunner, tries to quickly get to the outside, up to the 30, gets a first down and pushed out of bounds. Handoff goes to Gilbert, splits it right tackle, breaks a tackle, going forward to the 20-yard line before he's taken down, a six-yard gain. Bush, the handoff to Jones Jr. and he walks it right in. Ray Wilborn got a hold of him, but it wasn't enough. Notre Dame stretches their lead to 14. Takes the handoff to Jones Jr going deep down the middle of the field. Play man on the ball, intercepted! Intercepted by Ball State! Returning it for Ball State is Josh Miller. I got the ball, right? Let's go! Hey. Wimbush in the shotgun again, fakes the handoff to Jones. Quick pass to Miles Boykin. It's tipped and intercepted by Antonio Phillips for Ball State. It went right through Boykin's arms. After that first drive, the defense settled in and looked fantastic. Neal in the shotgun again. Takes a snap, looks for the quick outlet, goes up to Nolan Given, and it's caught for a touchdown! Cardinals, Nolan Given with his second touchdown reception of the season. Clean snap, kick on its way, and gets through. So with a minute 30 remaining, Ball State cuts this lead to eight. 24 to 16, your score. Here we go, Hagee's kick is away on the far side, collected by Notre Dame immediately. The Cardinals fall to 1-1 one one on the season. Notre Dame progresses to 2-0. and oh, But a close game here. The number eight Fighting Irish defeat the Ball State Cardinals by a score of 24-16. We thought we were going to be able to run the ball and get in some formations and uh, give ourselves a chance. As you follow Notre Dame this season, not many people are going to be able to run the football on them. And they're really good up front. They move well. They do some really good things. 
We didn't go backwards very much, and that was a big emphasis going into the week, and I thought they uh, attacked that part of the game plan really well. I thought James played really well. He had some good runs, obviously, and statistically was solid. He did a really good job playing with his eyes, didn't have any missed assignments, which is huge. I thought he played really well. Caleb ran the ball hard. He's a guy that had some really good, you know, one and two yard runs. He looked at the fourth and one we had that kind of put us back in the game, if you will. Handoff goes to Huntley. He's met in the backfield, but Huntley stays on his feet and keeps chugging and pushes forward for a first down. Malik got on the edge there a couple times and, and made a play. I know he kind of had one of a, a bigger run for us. The handoff goes to Dunner, tries to quickly get to the outside, up to the 30, gets a first down and pushed out of bounds at the 32 yard line. I really like the way our football team handled the adversity that we had in the Notre Dame game, which you know, they got some stops and we had some three and outs. The sideline was, was awesome. It's just the best it's been since I've been here. And I truly believe that is going to go a long way for this football team and where our culture is right now as a football program. Good, go hit it. That's it, that's it. Our guys flip the script pretty quick, I think. Once you get into Tuesday and you start practicing and hey, this is their defense, this is what they do, this is their players, their personnel, and here's our plan because obviously your plan's a little bit different each week of what you're gonna try to accomplish and what you're gonna try to attack. So uh, you can get your, their mind right pretty quick in moving on to the next week. 47 on the line of scrimmage, they're gonna slide to me to know he's the will. I think more than anything, we wanna get a win. You know, it'd be great to go down and, and get a win against a Big Ten team. Don't, don't think that we're not thinking about that, but at the same rate, it's, it's that next game and we wanna prepare for it to win a, win a big one.